Alam mo ba na mayroon tayong unfair expectations sa mga hobbies natin? So, eto yung tatalakayin natin ngayon. So, tara na! Hi, I'm Jet Elnor, your marriage mentor, helping you build a purposeful, inspired, productive, and empowered married life. So, sa araw na ito, as promised, tatalakay natin yung limang unfair expectations ng mga wifey sa kanilang mga hobbies. Number one, expecting that he should get you. Always remember that there is a difference between a man and a woman. So, hindi sa lahat ng panahon na kukuha o nag-gets ni hobby ang perspective ng mga babae. So, do not expect him gets ka niya at all times. This is very impossible for him to fulfill. Now, second, inaasahan ng mga wifey na yung mga hobbies nila ay hindi natutukso sa ibang babae. Now, always remember that men are wired visually. So, nakikita nila yung opposite sex at nakikita nila kung sino yung maganda at nakapag-attract sa kanila. So, minsan sinasabi natin ang bait ng asawa ko hindi siya natutukso. Now, when she expects that her hobby will never be tempted, Then, she is ignoring this fact. Ang totoo, talagang nakitempt sila. But it is fair to expect that he will resist temptation. Now, if yung hobby mo ay medyo weak sa tungkong ito, then you have to support him for him to be able to resist temptation. A third unfair expectation sa mga hobbies natin is when you expect that he will always make you happy. Yung kumbaga, I will live happily ever after. Hanggang fairy tale lang yan. Na always remember that yung hobby mo ay isang di perfectong tao at there are times na madidisappoint ka sa kanya. So if you rely completely on your husband na siya yung magpapaligaya sa iyo, then medyo may problema yan. To be happy in marriage, you have to work it out as a husband and a wife. Question for the day, What are some unreal expectations na meron ka sa hobby mo? A fourth unfair expectation ng mga wifey sa kanilang mga hobbies is when she thinks that he can read her mind. Na usually nangyayari ito kung may away, di ba? Kung meron kayong conflict mag-asawa, hindi ka nalang iimik dahil sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, alam na niya. Now, dapat talaga na sasabihin mo sa kanya kung ano yung ibig sabihin mo. Hindi pwede yung kukonte lang. Dapat straightforward na sasabihin mo sa hobby mo na ito yung gusto mo at ito yung ibig sabihin mo. Huwag mo siyang gawing Madam Auring. Hindi manguhula yung hobby mo. The more you are willing to share what you are really thinking, the more na maintindihan ka niya at the more na ma-anticipate niya kung ano yung gusto mo. By the way, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell para naman ma-notify kita kung meron tayong bagong uploads. The last but not the least unfair expectation ng mga wifey sa kanalang mga hobby is when you expect na pare-pareho kayo ng prioridad sa isang araw. So especially on weekends, we think that we are on the same page with our hobby. So kaya dito, napakahalaga yung komunikasyon. Kasi minsan yung iniisip ni Javi ay magbibitch siya. Ngunit yung iniisip mo naman ay magmamarket ka. Here in this case, communication is very important and it is very important to update what are your plans for the day and what are your priorities. Make sure that yung mga expectations mo kay Javi are realistic and very important yung komunikasyon ng ating mga habits para naman magkakaintindihan kayo at you will be on the same page. So, sana hindi na mangyayari at hindi na uulitin yung mga unfair expectations ng mga wifeys sa mga habits. Our tip of the day, the night before the next day, itanong mo sa asawa mo kung ano yung gusto niyang gawin for tomorrow. And, make it happen and make it his day. For that, you will be able to build a purposeful, inspired, productive, and empowered married life. So this is Nanay Jet, your marriage mentor. God bless!